I'm going to have to look up the law um, on these, but I'm pretty sure that emergency vehicle codes uh, prohibit the license plates that are being displayed on the front, the Carolina license plates and such. So guys, I do have, uh, there's three out here, whatever. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this design. These, uh, these two, this guy here has been circling around the parking lot in the Tahoe for like five or 10 minutes, just driving slowly. Um, I guess rather than approach me, he just rather drive around in circles with his arm hanging out of the window. So whatever.
Would you like for me to explain what I'm doing rather than just circling around me in the car? No, sir, I'm just videoing you like you're videoing us. That's pretty awesome. You have that right to do so. Absolutely. It's called a cam back. What's your name? I'm sorry? What's your name? We're not doing a criminal investigation. I know. I just asked what your name was. What's yours? I don't have to tell you. And there you go. Because I'm not doing a criminal investigation, am I? I didn't say you were. I'm just simply videotaping you, you like you're videotaping our car. It's T. I guess the big thing is, is not quite sure what the purpose is. I don't have to have one. Didn't say you did. Just kind of curious why people would want to actually try to provoke an, an encounter. I didn't. So wandering around videotaping a law enforcement car, do you do that in your neighborhood too? I do. Do you? Yeah. And you wouldn't mind if anybody just walked up in your house, started videotaping everything? This isn't your house. Well, I didn't say it was my house. You I'm said if someone if walked into to, my house. It's private property. If, at Is your this house, private correct? property? I said at your house. Correct. But if I want to stand in the yard and videotape your house, you wouldn't have a problem with that? In my yard, yes. But I if you're in on the, in the street. Oh, no, no okay. problem at all. I'm just curious why anybody in today's society all of us why we try to provoke problems i don't instead of just simply talking i no one's approached me so i haven't had an opportunity to talk so let's talk so, what is the purpose for this i'm exercising my first amendment right okay. which is freedom of press freedom sure. of speech which is videotaping and photography in public okay. um accountability which is making sure police officers are doing what they're supposed to do by parking no i'm just looking at the police cars at this point and then um, what do you do with your information it's for public information. It so goes you put on. out all the tag numbers of the patrol I don't cars put out tag numbers. I just put out whatever is in the pictures of all the tag well, numbers. Is a tag number uh, private information? No, I'm just asking what you do with the property. It goes out in a video. Huh, exactly, with the tag numbers to show this is a law enforcement vehicle. You wouldn't have a problem at all if you put out a, an officer's private or the uh, the tag on a unmarked vehicle and that officer got killed tomorrow. You wouldn't have a problem with that, would you? Of course I would. But yet you still continue to do so. That's not the purpose of what I'm doing. But if somebody was to kill somebody because they got the information from you, that wouldn't bother you. So, well, that- I'm just curious. You're gonna, I'm answering your questions. I'm trying to see if you'll answer mine. Uh, hey, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I sure. thought that he was allowed to come in here. So oh, it's I public property. Okay, I was just making no, sure I didn't fine. want to get in trouble. No, no, he's fine. I actually walk came around. over here to ask uh, what the, what you're doing and what the setup was. I thought that was kind yeah. of interesting. He has ever yeah. walked around and do exactly what he's doing. No, no problem. Just a Canon live feed and GoPro live. Oh, cool. Yeah. Perfect. Hero 5. Now, the only thing I do ask, and not to give you any grief on it, you did park out front, correct? Your car's uh, not parked out here. No. Okay. And it's I not out front it. either. Yeah, no, and that's yeah. fine. I don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, where I know back here is restricted parking. Correct. That's all I want to make sure. Uh, I'm completely aware. I appreciate yeah. it. No problem. But no, and I agree. I think casual conversation to kind of figure out exactly what's going on. I would much prefer to have a communication with somebody than to just walk around and videotape. I'd like to be able to sit well, down and say, what's the deal? What can we do to help? That's what I said. If any officer out here had to make contact with me, sure. we would have consensual conversation like we are. And I think we're having a good one. And we are. Um, but no officer said anything to me. Oh, man, so man. at that point, I feel like, you know, I, I have no reason to explain. It's kind of obvious. Got three sources of a video sure. here. So sure. I didn't feel the need to, you know, say, hey, just so you know, I'm out here videotaping. But if, if any of them had asked, I would have had no problem explaining it to them. No. And I guess, again, I would just like in today's society with the things that are going on, people being injured, whether it be the public, the law enforcement, I just don't know why we, we as a society feel like we need to find a reason to instigate issues. Whether it be walking around just because, well, it's my freedom, so I'll go videotape everything, or it's my freedom, so I'll say what I want to say. I think we need to come together as a society and actually try to solve our differences instead of just making more. Well, I don't think it's making more. Um, well, it, of it course, that's everyone's opinion. Well, it does. You're a police officer. You're uncomfortable every time you put on your uniform. But I don't come bad. to your house for no reason to make you uncomfortable. And you're right, this isn't my house, but this is my place of employment. It's your family. I don't come to your place of employment to that bother you unless there's a reason. That is true. And there's really no reason well, for you to do like it I other said, than you I, just want to. I don't feel like I'm bothering anyone. No, I'm, I'm you're just... not bothering me a bit. And by the way, you asked for my name, my name's Chris Taylor. You are? T. T? T. Pleasure to meet you. You too. And if you need anything, you let us know. But like I said, as long as you're doing what's proper by the law, I'm not going to have any issue with it. No problem. Are you with the city police or I'm sheriff's, with the sheriff's department? Office. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yes, sir. You take care. You too. Have a good day. You too. So is it like a first amendment check type deal? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, you know, rather than anyone coming out and asking what I was doing or anything, they got in the car and circled around me for like 10, 15 minutes. So.
point? Yeah, assess the situation. You know, making sure nothing's wrong. Yeah. Sometimes people get. Uh, I mean, there was like cautious. four police officers that were out here watching me, so clearly nothing was going on. But oh, yeah. Like yeah, I, I mean, told him, I said, if you had got out in an accident, you know, it wouldn't yeah. have been anything too. The main likely concern would have been tampering with any of the patrol cars around yeah. here. Well, I, I've been. I'll get out of the road. Oh. Okay. I, I've been detained for that before, so it wouldn't have yeah. been an you know issue. I was wondering, because I tell you, uh, yeah, you can go in here, I'm walking in, and I think, oh, wait, what was that guy doing? That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. There's no problem. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So guys, this is what they try to do. This is the way they try to uh, turn everything into some type of criminal situation or turn themselves into a victim. He says, so if you videotape a officer's license plate and you put it out to the media and that gets killed tomorrow, would you feel bad? Well, I would feel bad that anyone has gotten killed. The question would be, do I feel guilty? And I wouldn't because there are signs out here that say that this parking lot is under video surveillance. So it has their tag numbers. How do they know this video didn't get leaked or there's someone inside that is working against an officer? I'm not going to allow these police officers to dictate what I do when they don't have the right to. I'm not going to allow them to restrict me when they don't have the right to do so. And I'm damn sure not going to allow them to make me feel guilt or guilty about an action of another human being that had nothing to do with me. So if an officer was killed, um, I apologize. My condolences to the family. But it had absolutely nothing to do with me quote unquote putting out their license plate that just it, that's stupid simplest way to put it stupid so guys here we have the Greenville County Juvenile Detention Center I'm not exactly sure how many uh, juveniles this facility houses. Um, it's pretty decent in size. Um, then on this end of the building, we have the Juvenile Assessment Center. Greenville County Juvenile Assessment Center. Yeah, so I, I guess the officer felt the need to get a photograph or video um, of myself. For what reason? I don't know. I guess to say, hey, this guy was in the parking lot taking photographs, which isn't against the law, but we just want to see who he is. Awesome. Great. Did a good job. You held up a video camera. 
we had a conversation. Outstanding work. But, as you see, he didn't say I didn't have the right to be there. I didn't uh, have the right to not film. He said I was within the limits of the law. He just felt that I was making people feel uncomfortable. Um, and I didn't take it that route with him. Um, I just chose not to today. But any other time, I would have asked him if... Um, suspicious activity or people feeling uneasy is a misdemeanor or a felony um, and of course he made it very clear that he wasn't doing any type of investigating or anything of that nature and he didn't want to identify himself so that is something that I will be taking up with the sheriff's department that upon request from a civilian when he's in the course of his duties, I, I believe it to be whether they're making a field investigation or whatever purpose, if a civilian asks them to identify themselves in the course of their duties, they're supposed to do so. I, I believe that is correct. I will double check uh, that policy. And uh, if that's the case, then I will be filing a complaint with the uh, sheriff's office in reference to such. But this time, guys, I have made it to the car, and see you guys next.